Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Simon. This question comes from Discord. If you guys would like to join, links down below. It really helps fund the channel and I'm always in the Discord. You can talk to me there and you get to submit questions and you get to do call-ins. So I got this question, great question. The question is, when is it becoming toxic to challenge yourself and when is it just a growth-oriented mindset? I think a lot of conversation has flown about this and people's differing goals at the end of the day might be an interesting topic to explore. Great topic to explore. So I have kind of a broken clock kind of repetitive broken record concept around all of these things and it always leads me back to two concepts and that's values and joys so automatically when i think about the toxic challenge mindset you know hustle culture and waking up at 4 a.m time to motivate absolutely no one rise and grind grind and rise if you don't rise then there's no grind if you don't grind there's no grind compared to the zen out maybe buddhist mantra of like what is the self you know who am i great buddha I feel that my meditation is not working. Is there any way you can help me reach Nirvana? Um, yes, my child. I can show you the Zen way. Come back tonight, say 11-ish, and we will meditate. When we're having these conversations, they're always about understanding ourselves. So whether it's the hustle mindset, the improvement mindset, the health mindset, the whatever mindset it is, it's a relationship you're having with yourself in a moment. So because I believe life is tiny moments, these contradicting moments in our life, I think what we're having is a relationship with ourselves always. Like ultimately, why are you asking me this question? Because you have a question about when is it too much? And it really comes down to your joy and your growth. Are you growing or are you overthinking? So many times in hustle culture or grind mindset, there's a lot of overthinking that I think that occurs or not enough or not the right kind. What does it mean to think? well. Well, it means to know well. Think well is to problem solve, to put things together and merge concepts and separate concepts and really ponder. When you're thinking, you're thinking about your goals, you're thinking about who I am and the, the world that you have up against you, right? You have this challenge from the world, existence, something outside yourself. I look at these entrepreneurs. I read a bunch of books, entrepreneurs, right? I, I am part of like hustle bubble culture. One of my brothers and I, that's like our bonding thing. We talk about it all the time. And there's always a fine line with all of those people. I think a lot of the time people chase money and success, but they don't know why they're still eager for something, yearning for something. I think that disconnect between joy and happiness and accomplishment, they have a weird relationship in the world right now. So for me, and this is just for me, don't let me project onto you here, joy is the key to all of these successes. Like what good is being rich if I don't have joy? You don't need much to live in the world. The median income in the US isn't that much and most people live pretty good lives. So what are we really seeking when we're seeking wealth? Are we seeking independence? Well, that takes a little bit more money. Are we seeking an understanding with ourselves? Well, that might even take more or less money depending on how you're doing that. So when I read this comment and it says, when does it become toxic to challenge yourself? Or when is it just a growth mindset? When you aren't happy or joyful, depending on which bubble you're in, depending on how you're ruling your life. So take it something small, mac micro, happiness. Happiness is temporary, it's an emotion. If I'm challenging myself with something and I'm just miserable and miserable and miserable and I'm not even happy, then I would question how do I become happy while doing this task that is miserable? If I can't seek out happiness, how can I be joyful while I'm seeking out this task that is miserable? And then why am I doing this task that is miserable? Is it really going to make me hit my goals? Well, in that case, I'm going to learn how to be joyful instead of happy. Is it not helping my goals and I should actually remove it from my life and therefore I'll be happy while maintaining my joy? That's another option. If you find yourself in the growth mindset or you want to grow, that's great. If you find all the tools you're utilizing or the path you're taking is causing you to be miserable, you have to reinvest in yourself at that point which is part of the growth mindset. Reinvest in rest, reinvest in focus, reinvest in knowing yourself so you can know what your real joy is. Look, in life, it's hard. Default mode is hard. So you have to pick and choose reasonably with yourself in that moment. Make deals with yourself, talk to yourself, recognize that you might not be as capable to do as much as you want in this time span. So give yourself leniency and give yourself hope by knowing you can do it tomorrow. And most people overestimate what they can do in a year and they underestimate what they can do in two or three decades. But if you keep trying to put everything in the next 12 months, it's going to be 10 years later and you're not going to even have a year worth of accomplishment. So be easy on yourself, but be diligent and disciplined so you reach your goals in a timely manner. If you start saving right now, right, and you save $50 a month for the next X years, you will have a savings. If you imagine saving 50 bucks, 
you just imagine it, but you never do it, girl, you're going to wake up with no money in that savings account, right? And as somebody who's working on that path right now, like I'm a person who is diligent, hustle culture. I learned how to make money. I haven't learned how to keep it yet. That's the next part of my next year is how do I keep it? How do I save it? How do I become frugal? How do I take Graham Stephan's wisdom and make it a part of my life? What's up, Graham? It's Guy is here. That's the next challenge for somebody like me. But I realized that I came here slowly and in relation to my joy. I learned how to make money joyfully, so it took my time. And also, I'm going to learn how to take my time saving by doing it joyfully. So it's not that I'm going to be happy every time I take $50 and put it into my savings account when I could spend that $50 on Hot Cheetos. But in that moment, I'm going to be happy for a different reason because I actually accomplished my disciplined goal of saving my money. So the happiness is not going to come from buying the Hot Cheetos. It's going to come from saving for that goal. But that goal only exists because I know myself to know how to plan for future me, which was the struggle I had my whole life. How do I learn myself to really invest in myself? I think in hustle and grind culture and self-improvement circles and those bubbles, I think people fantasize a lot about self-improvement, but when they really get down to trying it, they realize that it takes so much discipline, it's hard. Now, here's the thing. If you're already wealthy, it's easy to find new ways to make money. But if you have nothing to fall back on, it's not exactly looking so good. It was recently found that just 30% of the poorest American families have a savings account. Millions of working Americans still can't afford food and rent. 54% say they're living paycheck to paycheck. Inflation is said to be crushing the middle class. And on average, $500,000 is the amount it would take to make them feel financially secure. Which is why it's kind of exceptional when people are able to accomplish it because it's such a hard grind. But once you do it, I mean, you are just experiencing life in a different way. So the question is, when are you joyful? When are you happy? How do those play a role in your goals? And then, of course, do you even know yourself enough to grind in a direction that's going to help you? Or do you not know yourself like to such an extent that grinding is going to end up getting you to rock bottom instead? Don't fret. Rock bottom is a part of success. How many times have I failed? How many times will I continue to fail? As much as I fail, I will succeed eventually. And that's the point. So don't go down on yourself. If you hit rock bottom, turn around, get back up, and keep going. Rock bottom is a tool the universe is giving you. Do not ignore it. Rock bottom is a tool. It is a door into your subconscious. It is a door into who you are. And it allows you to know how you are when you succeed and when you fail. Don't let failure define you, but don't be ashamed to fail because it's all part of the process process of success. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. And thank you so much for that question. Okay. With that said, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Dun, 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 dun